hi guys how have you been i hope you've been doing good i hope you've been okay i hope everything is doing amazing on your side my name is frida for those who don't know me welcome back to my youtube channel guys i know I've, it's been a long time i know i've not been consistent i know i've not uploaded a video for you guys but i thank you so much for your support you've supported me even without uploading my videos you've hit a thousand and three hundred and something subscribers thank you so much guys let's continue subscribing onto this channel please if you've not subscribed hit the subscribe button and please make sure you like this video share and comment so it's been a long time guys as you all know i brought my son here and he is living here in the uk with me it's not easy being a mother in the uk but i'm trying my best to be the best mom i could ever be so uh on this video i'm just going to walk you to, to, to walk you to walk you through or uh, uh give you a process of what i went through when i as i brought my son here to live with me in the uk so the part of the title of the video as you can see it will be the process of bringing my son uh, to the uk as a single parent living abroad or living here in the uk so please sit down grab a cup of tea have some juice or just chill and enjoy this video okay let's get to this video guys This process it's, it can be different uh, from the age of the children and from the uh, someone's case. So on my case, this what I was required to provide, and I think most of the people um, provide these documents. So let's begin. So I've written everything here. Okay, everything is all written here in this lovely, lovely book. So I've written everything down here, guys. As you can see, I've really prepared for this because. I have been waiting to do this video for you. Okay, so the first thing, as a Kenyan, uh, okay, as a small child, um, so you need a passport for this child. Apply the passport, and uh, so in Kenya we use eCitizen, where you go online, fill in the information that they asking, um, and then after that you book a biometric for your child, and then if some in this case because it's just a single parent, um, so I said my my child used to live with my mom so i just wrote uh, i just wrote to them an email that um please uh, uh my son my my mother will be the one bringing my son to get to do biometrics i've given consent for my mom to take my son to they went to embu uh, for biometrics so i just wrote to them that i've given consent for my mom to take my son there and i'm happy you know just write that you're happy and your mom will be the one taking your son there otherwise uh, for biometrics otherwise they might um it might be they might bring a little bit of trouble and uh, yeah so just write that so what are the requirements um uh, so i attached my passport i attached my my passport my kenyan uh, photocopy passport no the not the original photocopy passport photocopy from the dad and uh, birth certificate and i also wrote uh, to them about about that about my mom taking my son there so that's just the passport okay sorry so after that uh, after that so you have uh, uh so fortunately nowadays you don't have to go back to get the passport so you have to check online every time to check the postcode so you have to put the poster that you want your passport to be delivered in kenya so personally i put meru because i'm from meru and meru is close to us so that's where my mom went and picked a passport when the passport was ready and it only took two weeks actually only two weeks and the passport was ready to for collection yeah so we collected in Mary poster okay so let's get into the visa so as you all know guys I've, i came to the uk as a nurse so i'm under tier two skilled worker visa and in under this visa i'm allowed to bring uh my family if i had a husband then then that means i would have brought my husband i would have brought my son and if i had another child blah blah, blah under 18 years old so in this case i did i'm um, i did have i was not married i just had a child and um 
my father's son we broke up long time ago so i just had my child to bring here to the uk so my visa tier 2 skilled worker visa allows me uh, to bring my son to bring my family so if you're you're there you've got your family and entire family your husband or wife and you've got children you can bring them in the uk so for me i had, I, did, I left my son when he was two years old so I, it would have been impossible for me to bring him at that young age here with uh, in the uk because i wanted first to come settle down and um yeah just settle and then think about bringing him and in this particular moment i felt that this was that was the right time for me to apply the visa because i applied the visa last year in july so um i felt like that was the right time for me to bring my son i felt like i could not wait anymore because i was missing my son so much you can Im imagine um leaving your son at two like two when your child is two months it's difficult it's difficult i used to cry a lot of time but i thank god he's, he's here with me now so let's get into the process guys so the process first thing you just go to the gov.uk i will leave all the links that you need to like all the links there so you go on gov.uk and you choose on the dependent child dependent you fill in all the information that is required of you um you fill in the application form it's got everything you have to fill in you just follow it you just follow the way everything just follow it like it's it's self-explanatory you don't need any explanation to be honest when you get to the link just follow it um follow it through fill in the information make sure all the names are correct according to the passport make sure everything is correct okay fill in everything and uh, so after that you have book uh, biometrics in this case in kenya i booked my my child's biometrics in tls contacts which is in is it nine west building yeah somewhere that in westy yeah mm, yeah i think so so i booked for biometric biometrics there so in the biometrics you have to take this document okay so um oh before that before that after my child had a press spot uh they went to uh, iom for tb certificate for children they don't do x-ray they just do an examination to check if the child has a tb if so but uh, my child was good very healthy so he had uh, they gave him a tb certificate so that's one of the that's another requirement that you're required to have a tb certificate um is a clearance to show that your child does not uh, have uh tb if they do in case of anything they maybe uh, they go under treatment treatment until that clears up otherwise my child in this case everything was fine so we had a tb certificate so that's not that's one document that is required when you go to tls contact okay so you need your passport that's one thing you need your passport uh you need your tls contact okay you need your child's not your your child's not yours it's your child so you know as such parents you're applying it to a, in the uk or maybe you might be in kenya you've traveled and you've just decided to apply it when you're there so you need the tls you need the checklist you need um you there's a checklist after you've done everything you've booked you've paid for the visa the visa costs 308 usd for the child 308 which is around 290 200 and something pounds okay so yeah just to let you know for the child is yeah so uh after paying and everything so i'm going to the tls so yeah you need a checklist there's a checklist that they you after doing all that you'll be provided with checklist and you go with this checklist as well and you there's a place for you to sign when you get to the tls okay so uh you get your birth certificates and have a letter consent letter from both parents so in this case i asked the fathers my my son's father to sign us to sign a consent for for the child he was happy for the child to come with me so he signed a consent i signed a consent saying that i'm happy for the child to come and join me here in the uk so yeah we need consent from both parents or legal guardians if you you're the legal guardian of this child like they need a consent from that so another thing is uh tb certificate birth certificate letter of consent from both parents and um you need to show the consent from 
parents living parents living in the uk and showing that the the address the arrangement in the uk and address where the child will be living so they need to see a letter from the the, the parents who is living in the uk like the arrangement they've made for this child where they will be living the child will be living you know so in this case i wrote a consent writing that i'm um, i like uh, i give concept my son will be living with me i give the address of this place that's my that's this place i will live here in the uk i gave the address i gave them the address and they had everything they were looking for and then uh so another thing is um both uh so yeah the sole responsibility of the child so um, in so let me just now I, I gave them all these documents they were asking for at tls that was the first thing tls contact i, I gave them this document let me stop confusing you in tls contact i gave them birth certificate of the child i gave them letter of consent from the father i gave them letter cons of consent from me as a parent and also indicating that i'm happy for the child to live with me in this address so i gave them the address of the place that i'm living at the moment and we sub we gave them the tb certificate we gave them um what else do we give them in the tls contact i also gave them a letter of consent that i'm giving permission for my mom to take the child for the visa biometrics because i was not there with my child his my mom was doing this so i had written a letter of consent that i'm happy for my mom to take my son for the biometrics i wrote that as well and um what else which are which other documents did i give i think that's it for the documents that i gave yeah and then after that because i had not given them enough documents they came back to me and they asked for more they asked for more documents in this case you know that if you've not supplied enough evidence they come again and ask for you more documents and in this case after after giving them my documents i applied in on 18th of january july i mean last year and at, i think 27th of july they came back asking for more documents and in this case what did they ask so when they asked for handwritten letter from the biological father i had given them a consent from biological father but typed it was typed and printed but they asked for handwritten in this case they wanted handwritten consent like you know handwritten so as the father very cooperative man and uh, he wrote the consent uh had written consent signed it scanned it and sent it to me and uh, so that was sorted and then and uh, and the requirement for this had written it was for him explaining reasons for not traveling reasons for him not traveling with the son because in these people these uh people here like the migration people the in my immigration people they they don't want to separate the child from the father and their parents so they want to make sure the the, the other partner your parent or like um mother or uh mother or father they're happy to for you to bring the child so they have to make sure of that so in this case my father's my son's father was supposed to give an explanation why he's not coming to the uk so in this case he explained us why he's not coming to the uk we were not together anymore he's married so that's one of the reasons as to why he would not come to the uk he was not remarried before by the way i don't think i had a child with a married person he married after i've come i came to the uk yeah so um and please also submit an additional updated form of government id so in this case we submitted his id and his had written consent okay so after that they came back again after a few weeks two three weeks they came back again it was not enough okay they asked me to give again an evidence to support suitable arrangement for care and accommodation for the child here in the uk so i wrote to them I, I i i i what i did in this case i attached the tenancy agreement 
of this property where we live include it it has my name in it it has my partner's name in it so i attached it and explaining that the support the care uh the child care uh for my child would it will be shared between me and my partner and i'll also enroll my child in nursery uh where you know i'll be taking my child to the nursery you know for child care support you know and so i told them so at that time i think they were satisfied by the answer they checked the tenancy i have a two bedroom one room for my son and our another room for us you know so they were satisfied that this child will be well taken care of okay so another another thing is um yeah, so it's still the information as to why the father will not traveling with the baby. So they explained. I also told them in this case, I'll be the one after the visa is out. I'll be the one getting. I'll be the one traveling to Kenya to get my child and bring the, my child here in the UK. Hey, that was not over. They came back again. Okay, they came back again to ask for more documents. This time, what did they want? This time, they wanted two things. Okay, they wanted evidence. To demonstrate birth of this child i felt like they needed this because my child is very young my child was very young my child right now is not he, he's not even two years old my child was very young he was he had just turned one year he was one year last year in july one year uh one year april may june july one year three months almost four five months by the time they were asking for this document and this was in september remember i had applied for the visa in july so this is in september 20th i will not forget it's around 27th of september if not 27 26th there of september they came back to me asking for more documents okay and they asked for evidence to demonstrate birth this includes um pregnancy records maternity records all medical records issued since birth of the child all child health cards issued since birth and the child birth report what did i provide here okay i what i provided in this case one i had a lot of pictures when i was pregnant i post i i attached all my pregnancy pictures i attached even when i was breastfeeding my baby for those two months i i attached you see the purple child um moh uh, book that we they issue us with in Kenya. I, I told my mom to scan everything and send it to me and I attached it Another thing I attached my uh, Discharge summary from the hospital that I gave birth in a discharge summary. I attached that so that was enough That was enough to be honest. It was enough and then uh, the next thing they wanted was Evidence to demonstrate or address child have been residing at since birth to present who he was residing with and for how long at each address please provide name date of the birth and nationality in this case i've always lived since i got since i had my child um i moved to live with my mother because i had my visa i was just waiting to come to the uk so i moved with my mom and uh, so i was living at my mom's place and that's where my baby had lived since birth so i just wrote that and then i also attached um, a letter from my mom i think that she's been that she's the one who's been living with my child oh sorry guys sorry she's the one who's been living with my child since since i left and also i also got a letter again from the chief just to prove that like to give it a little bit of you know evidence from the chief writing that yeah this child has been living with a grandmother since birth and i gave them to uh, give it to them okay so guys that all that all those were the documents i was asked and it was a wait i waited for my child's visa i waited every single day i waited after submitting this document i waited for my son's visa guys i waited for them every single day i used to check my emails you know they always um on the on every time uh, like on their website they recommend that it will take 15 working days oh for this family visa joining uh, the family, it might pay, take up to 24 weeks. In this case, mine took more than 24 weeks, guys. It took more than 24 weeks. It took more than 120 working days. It took more than what they recommend. So you can imagine after submitting all these documents, 
I kept on waiting. Every single minute I used to check my email, wondering what's happening to my child's visa. Are they going to accept it? What is really happening? I emailed the member of parliament of Bournemouth to check, to, to see if they can speed up a little bit because in case of anything, like you email them, but they were not able to help in this case. Um, what helped me through this is having a supportive partner. My partner used to tell me, don't worry, it will come. It's all calm, it's all calm. I had a very supportive partner and at work, uh, my matron was very, very supportive. She tried to help me the way she could to see if this visa would be processed um, very quickly because a lot of people we had applied with them when I was applying my visa, my child's visa, they have child's visa came out very quickly, but my, my one took a long time. It took forever. In this case, I felt like God is really trying to tempt me. I believe in God so much. <laughs> prayed a lot i felt like this is a temptation because it's got to a point like i could not even feel like i want to pray because every i felt like my prayers are not being answered you know i felt like oh no like it's not going to happen like it's taking forever it's taking too much like why is it taking so long like other people's prosper this other child's visa they are coming out very quickly so why is mine taking this time this long why is it taking forever you know it took um seven months uh, July and it came out on February 3rd so yeah I was waiting for my visa I remember it was January 30th or 31st yeah I emailed other, um, another lady called Amoro <laughs> we call her granny I told um not email I messaged her on whatsapp I told Amoro you know my son's visa is taking forever like I don't know why I'm so depressed I'm so depressed like me uh, oh, oh guys I was almost getting into depression because of this visa I was waiting for it every single day. Anyway, I told Amoro, Amoro to, to ask me, oh, what have you provided? What have you given as a document? Tell me everything. I told Amoro, uh, I answered her questions. She sent me an email to send the visa people. And I sent the email. And guess what? After two days, the visa was out. I don't know what's that God does. I don't know. Like she has this thing of solving problems like this. Oh my God. And I was so happy. Oh God, when this visa was out, it came out on that. I think it's the end of February morning. That's when I called them and they were like, oh, the decision has been made. Oh goodness. I felt like, I can't believe it. No, you guys are joking. Are you dream? Am I dreaming? Like, is it real? Like, how like it's been a long time waiting for this visa and now it's out after today i see my son running around playing like we spend time like together and i feel like okay frida i think you're dreaming wake up wake up because i waited for this visa guys and it was taking forever but i said thank god that it's it was it finally came out and uh, it was finally successful and yeah so it was stressful waiting for that visa every single day was horrible it was not a good day for me i never used to even like even going to work you know that's how you know you're slowly getting into depression when you um so you don't even love what you what, because i love my job i love working as a nurse i love it but it's got to a point where it's not exciting anymore. I don't like it. I don't want to do anything. I just want to stay, do nothing and keep on waiting for this visa. Like what's happening? But glory to God, I was able to, even though I felt like that, I was able to continue working, giving my best at my work. Yeah, and finally my son is here in the UK with me. The visa was successful. It was, ah, it's joy, joy, joy. And for me, this is, temp uh, this is, what do we call it? <laughs> um, What's the name? What's the name? Ah, this is a test, test, is it a testimony? <laughs> this is a testimony because guys, I'm telling you, you have you ever seen like every, every like kila mtu vitu zake zinaenda nyua like my friends visa child came here, they've stayed in the UK for a long time. My one in a take forever and you feel like why? Why is it me? Why, why is this? Why, why is it me God? Like why? Ah, uh, like why is it me i'm a good person i i follow your world i love you so much but why is it me but you know uh, every like i would say uh everything happens at the right time and at the god's timing this was the best time for me to bring my son 
to be honest yeah so guys thank you so much for watching my video to mention there's something that i forgot to let you know that i re i got a letter from the um, i requested this letter it's called a maintenance letter from our hospital uh this just to show that they i will take responsibility in case of anything of my son uh just taking responsibility of my son in case of anything you know just like that like something like that okay so this maintenance letter um, was attached together with my initial application and um yeah so that's that's what i forgot to mention okay so thank you guys for watching i hope i've not confused you okay i hope i've not confused you i feel like i've confused you on this video but i hope i've not confused you just remember to give the passport birth certificate tb certificate the checklist remember the trust maintenance get the maintenance letter from the trust this will this will help you a lot oh another thing remember to attach all the receipts attach all the receipts of the money you are sending back home to take care of your child attach them okay attach them so that they can see you've been taking care of your child another thing i attached i attached my video course with my mom with my mom showing i used to check i always check up on my son i also attached video of my of my all video pictures of my son and my, my my mom showing my son is all taken care of to be honest i think i gave them even too much of information but i really i was desperate i desperately needed this 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 visa okay remember to attach that attach um uh, birth records i another thing attached on my styles apart from the birth certificate is the birth notification i attached the birth notification i attached the immunization card that is moh purple book that's where they were recording of the immunization i attached it it had all the bad reports that book has a lot so i atta i attached that remember to attach it i am um, letter of consent from the other parents had written if you can so that they don't come back to you and say oh we want a hard written so start with the hard written consent um then again also you are right that you you consent that you'll be living with your son give the address of where you'll be living if possible just attach the tenancy to the tenant tenancy agreement also give um uh, a little bit of uh, say how you'll be taking care of this child child care arrangement if um if it's a child will be going to school just like right that you have found even a school for them if you found it already but just do not give them that the reason that just let them know that you're you'll be able to take care of the, that child when they get here okay yeah just that and uh, everything else i mentioned earlier okay all right guys uh this comes to the end of this video i wish you all the best luck in your application because mine took long that does not mean yours will take long so it might take two weeks three weeks four weeks six weeks seven weeks it might take seven months like mine but all in all i wish you all the best patience prayers keep praying pray 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 Okay, lot, guys. <laughs> okay guys i wish you all a lovely lovely day evening afternoon wherever you're watching me from thank you so much guys please let's keep subscribing to this vid to this channel i'll make sure this year i'll try my best to be as consistent as i can guys next time i'll drop you a video of motherhood how is was mother was taking me in the uk okay <sighs> guys i'm tired now i'm tired of talking i wish you all lovely lovely evening mm -hmm. now i pen the sana Thank you so much for watching.